What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Phil 20, and I'm back. Now I've got an app miner, and uh, well, I'm not going to release the package information on it but I got it running um, when I got it it was filthy it was dirty and for some reason it didn't run uh, it would go into fault and I believe it had something to do with uh, the way I had coded the uh, addresses that it was going to be attached to so I think that was the fault and then I double checked everything and got everything corrected and started it on the low power, tested it, ran it for about 30 minutes, put it on normal power, ran it for about an hour and a half, and then I put it on turbo power. And uh, it takes a really long time for it to calibrate and turn on on turbo power. So I really don't want to turn it off, but I can show you some stuff on it and I can record some screenshots what will be coming up here in a few minutes. But basically, we've got this miner right here running on solar power. It's our S17. It's uh, fast, runs on solar power. Now, I've got my S9. I got my T9. They're unplugged. These things are producing so much heat. And I went from running the S9 and the T9 to running the S17 Pro on turbo. And it's significant. Oh, the L3 Plus Plus is off as well. So it went from around 23 terahash to 63 terahash is the power consumption difference versus the terahash difference. So these two miners right here was running around 23 terahash and now I'm running around 63 to 58 terahash. I don't know exactly yet. It's not been 24 hours yet. But what I did do, I have to say, everybody should do you need to take it apart take the fans off take the covers off and make sure it's cool not hot make sure it's cooled down to room temperature before you do this because this will damage it if you do it when it's running at full capacity full speed so you want to remove the covers both sides and you want to blow it out from the exhaust the other way and you want to peel the dust off of the fan blades or the dust that's collected onto the heat sinks. This one was full. I'm sure that it would not be stable at those situations because it was full of dust. I hit, I went and I did a reset on the software side and then I reprogrammed everything and it works. It works really well. Mine a Bitcoin. It's blowing out some super hot air. It's real, real loud, but significantly louder than my S15, which was my loudest one, I believe. I don't know, this S9, that one's pretty loud too. But I just wanted to give you an update on the S15, uh, S17 Pro. Today, if I was to go and buy one, let's assume I have 9.5 cents kilowatt hours I have to pay to run it, it would not be profitable. It would There'd be no reason to run it. But since I have a solar array and two very large inverters for the solar array, I can still hook these two miners up to the Magnum. These two miners will be able to run on the Magnum around 2,000 to 3,000 watts depending on the settings that I provide to these two miners. And that would pretty much 
max out my solar array on maximum power. So I will have all the miners on an on off switch. Two miners will come on. These two miners will come on when the battery's voltage reach 48.4. And then they will turn off at 48.0 after 25 minutes. So it has to be below 48.0 and it'll run for 25 minutes after that. And then the other miners will remain on until around 45 volts now. I've been adjusting these trying to get as much as I can out of them. And uh, what I'll do is run that T5 on the same switch as the Magnum, because I'll have to run wires over here to keep it as silent as possible. I might even run, remove my monitor from the side of this and then run a duct up and across and join up right here with the exit and then just put a fan to blow in and exhaust out the window or into the ductwork in the wintertime to provide ample amount of heat in the wintertime. Because a solar array here in this area will never supply enough electricity to provide heat for your house. It's never gonna happen. But during the daytime, I'll be able to run these still quite a bit. So I'm hoping that I can get only solar power provided uh, around 40 to 50 terahash free electricity. No power consumption from the grid power at all. And if I can do that, that would be great. If not, then I can turn it down and see how much terahash I get and find out how much power it's gonna to consume to run on grid as well. We'll see though. I'm pretty sure that I can get about 40 terahash if I run these two miners and those two miners as well. So 40 terahash is what I expect to be a 24 hour period because I'm running it and then turning it off, running it, turning it off. So that's what the video is about today and I hope that everything works out with this system. It is kind of a long video, so if you guys really want to see this, the actual numbers of the miners, leave a like in the, the comments in the below as well. I want to see the statistics of your miners. This is Philip 20 with Solar Power, Electricity, and Electronics. Peace out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.